Ross, back to league action this week. Um, but in terms of you know two games in one week, it's probably as hard as they come, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, the next two are really really tough, and um, I think uh, we, we've had we've had a, a good run of late, and and it's obviously going to be followed up by by essentially what the next four are really tough. But the next two home games are, are really tough games, so. Uh, we've got to be on it, we've got to be prepared and, 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 and these are the types of games you want to play. So I think one of the one of the sort of things I've said since I've come in is is we've we've beat teams in and around us or below us, so it'd be nice to have have a big scalp or, or get really close to beating one of the big teams. So we want to have a real go against Chesterfield and obviously then Wrexham, but obviously we want to focus on the Chesterfield game first. We obviously spoke a lot about the home record before this run of six home games. But now you're looking at it and the last two have been both been wins. So that is definitely, you know, progress, isn't it? Yeah, it is progress, but it is small progress. Um, we've got to we've got to make that over a medium to long term thing. So it's all all fine and well winning we what well, we've done four games, one, two, drawn one, lost one. It's not terrible. Um, but we've gotta we've gotta make that better, we've gotta make that over a longer period of time. And I think the the most important thing that I, the, the the fans have been excellent and Certainly, certainly against Dork in, in the trophy was, was and the one previous was, was amazing. So, uh, thank you to them and, and their support, and it's massive. And I know we, we it all links in well, doesn't it? Doesn't it? We we're better on the pitch and we get better support. And but ultimately, we get better support. We're also better on the pitch. So it's a bit of a um, a bit of a sort of thing which which circles round. So it's important that we're competitive against Chesterfield. But but the fans also need to understand that it's Chesterfield and it's Wrexham and it's going to be really tough. That's not me being negative and they they've been really supportive the last eight nine games. So next four games are tough. Be really supportive still and then we get into that sort of last ten eleven straight where we can have a real real good go of teams ultimately below us and around us where, where I think we can really kick on. Obviously, it might be a bit strange because we are a bit familiar with Dorking now. So changing that up to new opposition, but. You know, I'm assuming you've all done your homework and you're ready for the challenge, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Uh, like, like, like we said, they're a really good team and um, they're, they're a side who like to play football and it'll allow us to press them and allow us to get at them and, and I'm sure they'll be coming with our own game plan where maybe we don't have a target player and, and we don't have that, that number nine. So that maybe takes away what our strengths was and sort of the previous game. So it's, they'll probably come and, come and look at that and... We'll have to find ways to, to negate that and, and find ways to sort of play around that and, and be a little bit different, certainly in the short term. I think one of the things I've said to said to James, spoke to James about, we had a really good, I say an identity, we had a way of playing and we were a pressing team and we used any and we used any strengths and, and we don't have that anymore. So we've almost got to learn on the job a, a new way of playing a little bit and certainly in the short term until, until we bring some new players in. And um, of course, it's on our agenda to bring in a new centre forward and, but one of the things I was going to speak to you about, I want to say, is we want to bring in the right centre forward. We don't just want to go and get our centre forward and, and make the same mistakes or mistakes that this club's made in the past. We want to get a forward who fits us and suits us and is here for the sort of, sort of long term. And, and that's the most important thing. And obviously, we're going to have to deal, deal with that on Saturday. Well, Tuesday. Term, yeah, Tuesday, of course. In terms of you know those options to uh, for the time being, Jake's obviously back because he was cup tied on Saturday, and and more, we saw a bit of Morgan Roberts. I know he's not an out and out striker, is he? But he, he scores goals and he looked very sharp, didn't he, when he came on? Yeah, he did. Um, he came on at a tough time because they just started to go forward, and and we were sort of uh, clinging on a little bit in the last ten minutes, and he was on in that period, so it can't have been it can't have been a really a great time for him to come on. But we've got Justin still, and we've got Ryan, and. Obviously, we've got Josh and, and, and now midfielders looking really strong. So we're able to rotate. We're able to to look at what strengths and we've got, um, what weaknesses they've got and, and what the best side is to go and attack that and take that to them. And that's certainly what we'll do tomorrow. And our, our squad is strong at the minute and, and leaving boys out is tough, but, but that's the nature of, of where we're at and that's where we want to be. I want to, I want to be having tough conversations to leave players out rather than just having a sort of 11 or 12 that we can select and that's exactly exactly where we're at so yeah there might be a few little changes and little tweaks and, and what that might look like tomorrow but like I said to you we, we want to have a real real go um, that big scalp isn't really on my, on, on my record since I came in here and I think it's important we think like that and I think it's important we try and do that certainly for these fans who've been excellent the last few games. One of those that might cause you a bit of a headache for selection is obviously the in arrival of Henry Ochien. So what can you tell us about him? Yeah, another midfielder. So um, 
when, when I came in, we were light in midfield and, and obviously playing Ryan in there and, and Justin had played in there and we've done really good jobs in there, to be fair. And obviously Tyler even played in there mm. um, right right at the start of my sort of reign. So um, we've now got really, really good options. Uh, Henry is a, is, a, is a sort of deep line four. Uh, he's a ball winner midfielder breaks up play, um, can also got good good passing over over long distances. He's not he's not necessarily brought in to, to uh, contribute in the final third. He's brought in to contribute in the defensive and midfield third. And um, I think it's important when you've got midfielders that they offer one of those options. And um, whether that's creating and scoring or defending and stopping and Henry is certainly in the latter um, and he comes in to do that and Give us a real good option in midfield, and, and like I've always said to you, we, we, we want options, and we want players who can play multiple positions, and we want options to be able to rotate formations, which which Henry absolutely allows us to do. Um, I think one of the one of the key things to point as well, Henry isn't hasn't been brought in with the any money, and that is still there to be to be spent on a centre forward. But back to my previous point, we want to get the right centre forward or centre forwards that come and add real value to this group. And I'm not uh, uh, someone who is naive to that, and I don't want to. Spend spend the next few games, or well, we might spend the next few games, but the next few sort of weeks or months, playing with 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 a, a number nine who's a winger and and taking them away from what their strengths is. So we want to get back to that. So we will get there. And Henry, like I said, Henry was brought in a few weeks ago, and it's just sort of been confirmed today. Cheers, Ross. Cheers, Sam. <laughs>